Hey everyone, how's it going? Here's a quick video. I was in Michigan this past weekend visiting family and I did get a chance to stop into a small card show in Livonia, Michigan. I, a year ago, went to visit family in Michigan and went to another card show in Troy at the time and was impressed at the time with how, um, I guess just the abundance and prevalence of vintage and particularly vintage hockey cards that, um, not just one or two sellers, but a lot of uh, a lot of sellers had um, that they were offering. It seems as though Michigan is kind of an older market. Um, at least the hockey scene is definitely older. With original six team plus being next to Canada, there's a lot of a, a lot more. Um, there's a lot more. I think that has filtered into the region um, that we just don't see in Colorado when I go to shows, which. Primarily, I think, is a younger market. Um, lots of modern, lots of Pokemon and TCGs, but not a lot of, and there's a, a lot of, certainly a lot of vintage baseball, but not not as much hockey as as, as, uh, as you see here, which is really nice to see for a change. But anyway, um, here's a small stack of things that I got. Um, the first things are just some, penny sleeves that were filled with some cheapy cards that were in a penny sleeve box um, that I just grabbed, uh, always going after the 50s and 60s Tigers, so um, kind of no-name guys, but Gail Harris, 1958, Don Lee, 1960, All-Star, or Rookie Star, um, or 1959, sorry, um, Rocky Bridges, another Tiger, uh, 1959, Bob Bruce, 1960, um, Jimmy Dykes, manager. So Ron Santo, 1968, All-Star. Dirk Powell, 1969. Um, LK Line Scratch-Off. Here's some 71s. Doc Ellis. Louis Tiant. Hoyt Wilhelm. Fred Sherman, just random tiger. Um, Alan Trammell, Diamond Kings, didn't have it. Um, Norm Ullman uh, on the Maple Leafs. Oops. And Brad Park. Okay, so those are the cheapies. And now um, here's the rest of what I got. I love 54 hockey and 54 baseball, but in, I think Topps was just on top of things in 1954 with really great, great cards. Uh, Bill Quackenbush, he was Hall of Fame defenseman for the Bruins. Um, this one's in really good shape. Um, it's a really nice example of that card. I wouldn't call it sharp corners, but I mean, they're for a 54, this is this is a pretty clean card. Looks good. Um, that one's in good condition. This one, oops, sorry. on the other hand, is is not. And this was kind of just a throw in. It's got some creases and stuff. But um, there's Bob Armstrong. Didn't have it. Eventually, I'd probably would love to collect that set. Um, and the prices that are on these are not what I paid for them. I think some of these prices, the guy said, have been on for like over a decade. So um, so take them with a grain of salt. I, I sort of grouped things together and came up with a package deal with a lot of these cards. Forbes Kennedy, he was a Red Wing. Not too well known, but um, nice card. This guy, I think everybody knows, Bobby Orr. This is a Hart Trophy card. I believe it's 1970. Uh, Opeachy or mm, yeah this one's Opeachy 1970 Opeachy Bobby Orr um, just a nice card pretty clean has some um, it's kind of got some left right and up and down centering um, that isn't perfect but but other than that it's sharp it's got pretty clean corners and good good looking card um, Ed Jockerman well known Hall of Fame goalie um this is an all-star card, um, pretty cool. Um, 1969's, uh, here's Tim Horton. Dave Keon, who he was uh, probably one of the best centers that the Maple Leafs ever had, played forever. Bernie Perrant, um, nice card. Johnny Busick, or Buchik. I'm never going to pronounce his last name right, but he was good Bruin. Here's Jerry Cheevers, and this one is a WHA card, I think for the Crusader, the Cleveland Crusaders, but I mean, you, you all probably know him from the Bruins, um, just well-known 1970s goalie. 
Um, there's a 1971 Nolan Ryan. Um, this one I did not pay 65 for. Um, kind of haggled on that one. But it was kind of had some left, right, and up and down centering. But other than that, it's a pretty good example. This card is always super expensive, so um, I always kind of wanted it. Um, and this one's a nice example of it. Uh, it's, it doesn't have a lot of like chipping along the edges or anything. It has pretty, pretty good sides and edges. Just a good looking card, um, even though it's the centering. Centering on these never is never really that great. Uh, or there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of off center cards in those. Uh, another 59 LK line. This one just looked good. I already have this card, but um, it's definitely a, a nice example of that. Um, next is a 1966 Alex Delvecchio. This is another one of those sets that I eventually probably want to collect. Don't have the Bobby Orr yet. That's the big one. But um, I have a lot of a lot of these and just really love these cards. But um, Alex Delvecchio, great Red Wing. Um, lesser known Red Wing, Floyd Smith, but that's one I didn't have. And I'll usually grab the ones that I don't have yet. Because um, I kind of want to be a set collector on this one. Uh, Frank Mahalovich, Hall of Famer. He played for Red Wings as well as the Maple Leafs. Um, that's his all-star from 66. Here's him in, I believe, 1967 on the Maple Leafs. Um, and this one is, I believe, is this an OPG? It does say print in Canada, so that might be the OPG version. I believe it probably should be. Here's a 1968 Jean Bellevue. Um, this one's got really good centering, um, decent corners, just nice card. Uh, here's a, another Ed Jacobin. Didn't have this one yet, 1969. Here's Jerry Cheevers from 1969 as well. So Wayne Cashman um, as well. And this one is Gretzky, team leaders. And another Chelios rookie. This one looked really good. Um, and it looked better than the one I already have. So I definitely think this will probably be an upgrade. And then this one is my first one of these tall boy type cards, Norm Ullman, playing for the Red Wings. Um, it definitely has some left, right you know, centering issues, but it's still a cool card. Anyway, so that's it. That's what I grabbed while I was out in the Detroit area this past weekend. And um, I'll probably, I've got a vintage lot that's coming in from PSA that uh, that uh, that is in the assembly stage right now. So hopefully that will come pretty soon. And other than that, we'll see if probably if I get anything else or after the next show. So take care. Bye.